Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make these looping circle animations that you can use to bring your slides to life. So let's jump straight into it. So we'll start off with a basic blue background and the first thing we want to add is an arc. So in the drawing section, on the home part of the ribbon, we click arc and click anywhere on the page. If I right click on this and choose format shape, I'm going to go to the size option and type 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. And then we'll click on this little yellow dot and drag it round to make half a circle. I'm also going to go into the fill and line section and make this 20 point. Now we want to add a spin animation. And when we go to animations and choose spin, you can see that this doesn't look good at all because it's rotating it around a center point approximately here. It would work well if we'd created it to nearly a full circle. You can see that spins perfectly, but using a half circle, we need to use a slightly different method. So to do that, we basically just have to draw a circle behind it and give it no fill. So I'll choose an oval, click anywhere and hold down shift and it will make a perfect circle. I'm going to make this white just for now and align it to the middle. I'm also going to send it to the back. I'm going to take my semicircle and align that to the middle. While the semicircle is still selected, I'm going to hold down shift and click on the white circle and then control G to group. Now, if we go to animations and choose spin, we have a perfect spin. I can click on my group and then click again, to select the circle, go to home and give it no fill now. Also, no outline. So now when we run the animation, it spins correctly. I'm now going to add a gradient to this arc. So we can click, that will select the group, then click again on the arc and choose gradient. I'm going to drag these gradient fills off, select the right gradient stop, choose a red, and select the left and choose an orange. You can choose anything you want for this that you think looks good. If we go to animations and go to the animation pane, I'm going to double click on these settings and check them. And I want this to be one spin, which is 360 degrees, three seconds. Now I'm going to make a copy of this, which is going to be the cover to give it that nice gradual effect. So if I click once, that will have selected the whole thing. While it's selected, I hold down Control and Shift and drag it to the side, and that's made a copy of it. And this one for now, I'm going to give a blue outline just so we can see what we're working with. And then right click, go to Format Shape and make this a bit bigger. So I'm going to make it 30 point to cover it. I also want to go into the Selection Pane. And to do that, we can go to Arrange, Selection Pane. And I'm going to name this group so I know what I'm working with. So I can click here. I'm going to type blue cover one. And for this group, just for reference, I'm going to type circle one. And for the cover, I want to make it spin twice. So I'm going to click on the cover, go to animations, animation pane, double click here and choose two spins. I'll click OK. That's good. I also want both of these to repeat until end of slide, which will keep them looping. So I double click. On timing, I'm going to choose repeat until end of slide for this one, and the same for circle one. Repeat until end of slide. And then if we select both of these, so you can click on one, hold down shift and click the other, I want these to start with previous. So they'll start as soon as we enter the slide. If we now align both of these to the center, this one's already aligned to the center. If I align this to the center as well, and then play from there, you can see that it rotates perfectly in the center with the bigger cover going around at a slightly faster rate. So now when we set this to the background color, which you can do by clicking on it once, clicking on it again on the arc, then going to home and choosing shape outline and selecting the eyedropper and clicking on the background. And let's play that. Nice, a really nice motion graphics style effect. I'm also going to add a smooth start and end to both of these. So I'm just going to select one second and one second. One second smooth start and one second smooth end. I just think that adds a nice effect to it. So let's play that. Great. I'm now going to make a duplicate of that circle 
and make that go in a different direction just to add some variation. So to select it, we can drag over the whole thing. That selected the group that has the circle and the cover in it. And now I can press Ctrl D and that will make a duplicate. If you hold down the corner and drag, you can make a smaller version of that. So if we play that now, you'll see that we have two circles going around at the same time. I'm going to reverse the second circle so it goes counterclockwise. And to do that, we can go to the animation pane and simply choose counterclockwise for both the blue cover and the circle. So we'll just run that. Now we just need to center the second circle. And to do that, we can go to the selection pane, make sure it's the smaller one we're selecting, which is this one. I can actually rename this while I'm here as well. Blue cover two, smaller. And circle two, smaller. This is good just to help you have a reference when it comes to making any changes in the future. So if I click on blue cover two, I'll arrange that to the center and I'll click on circle two smaller and arrange that to the center and the middle. Now, when we run that, nice. And finally, I'll just quickly paste in some text. And for this, I want to add a zoom and a pulse. So I click on zoom. I'm going to make this one and a half seconds and set it to happen with previous. And then I want to add a pulse. So we go to add animation and choose pulse. I want this to happen with previous, but I want to delay it till it happens after the zoom. So set that to 1.5 and then give it a duration of one. So now when we run that, it will zoom out and pulse and the animation that's looping around it will continue until the end of the slide. If you'd like to download any of the source files that you see in these tutorials, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below. Thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.